Today's video, we're going to be sharing with you a Madden 16 Ultimate Team budget player that I'm really wanting to uh, at least draw some attention to. I haven't talked about it much, and you know we're kind of in a period right now where we're kind of coming towards the end of the season, and you're getting all these new cards. But a time-tested card that I think you know definitely has some weight that I want to share with you guys today is. Uh, is a running back, in my opinion, that's right up there with the top running backs, but his um, his cost is actually relatively inexpensive. And uh, the player is the Arizona Cardinals running back, David Johnson. We're going to pull him up here. And I just wanted to share him with you today, uh, just to, just because I was, he was kind of on my mind this morning as I was playing, and, uh, and definitely just wanted to share with you. So, obviously, you see this final edition card, 95 overall or excuse me all rookie 95 overall he has you know much better statistics and even this card is kind of budget tier when you look at some of the other things but the big thing that I want to show you is his 91 overall uh, card this uh, 91 overall team of the week card has 96 speed 92 agility 95 juke move 91 truck and 95 acceleration uh, in my opinion this guy is in my opinion, the best budget running back in the game right now because he's going for about 40k. Um, you know, going about 40k. But the thing about it is, when you compare him to, you know, maybe Terrell Davis or an Amon Green or someone like that, his his stats actually match up very comparably. Uh, and then I also wanted to mention this card. So this is a 250k card, is all rookie card, and you can see it's a little bit better, but it's not a ton better. Uh, you know, it's just minor, some minor leaps, but nothing too extensive so you know I would recommend getting this 91 overall team of the week card uh, he in my opinion he'll do anything and everything you need a running back to do and I want to just show you some of the uh, actually let's just do it like this uh, I want to just show you some of the legend running backs that you can actually pro compare this uh, David Johnson to so if we go down here to program and uh, while we're pulling this up, guys, I just wanted to quickly uh, draw your attention to hitting that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, our goal here is to just, you know, try to do what we can to foster a community that makes each other better at the game. And uh, and hopefully we do that effectively. But uh, but definitely hit that subscribe button if you're looking to get better. Men in 16. All right, so I wanted to pull up Amon Green. Now these legends are actually going for fairly inexpensive, but I mean, as you can see, David Johnson beats Amon Green in every single category. Uh, that's pretty. That, that's actually significant, and uh, and you'll see that's going to be a common theme. Uh, he'll beat Terrell Davis as well in almost every single category. Um, you know, and, and like I said, you know, now some of these, like for example, this Marshall Falk card. He is only better at like route running and elusiveness, but David Johnson beats him in every other aspect. Uh, same thing for Walton Payton. Like he's better in him like one area, like trucking and juke move maybe, but. Overall, I'm saying that that David Johnson card, you know, he he really does do a really good job. Uh, you know, if you're looking to get better uh, at the running back spot for a little bit, you know, fairly inexpensive. Same thing with this Eric Dickerson. I mean, this Eric Dickerson's got better juke move, but outside of that, I mean, what does he have? I mean, maybe a little more elusiveness, but really, you know, not a ton. Uh, this Emmett Smith card, you know, I love Emmett Smith. He's my favorite player of all time, but it just doesn't match up to that David Johnson. So. You know, guys, I just wanted to show you that, and, and, and I want to kind of motivate you, hopefully, to get on mudhead.com and, uh, and look up the ratings for yourself and find out what players are actually worth your coins and what players, you know, you can get for a little bit cheaper. So just wanted to kind of get you guys thinking about that today. Uh, we'll take a little break from the mutt free guide, and obviously we're doing mutt here, but, uh, you know, just wanted to help you a little bit in that aspect uh, as you guys look into, you know, making your team better. Like I said, the uh, the season's kind of coming to a close, and so you're getting a lot of final edition cards, and, uh, and and I think they have all kinds of new programs and things to keep the game alive. But, you know, guys, it really comes down to getting on mutthead.com, finding out what players are worth your coins and what players are not worth your coins. And, and that's what I'm all about. I'm trying to get you guys into that kind of mindset of thinking, you know, and looking up the stats, doing the research, getting the evidence for yourself. And, and critically thinking through what is the best player and what is not the best player. So hopefully this video sparks some of that thought. And if you have any questions for me or 
topics that you would like to see covered. I know I have a, a long list of topics that we're going to be covering, but uh, if you have any of that, please let me know. And, uh, and you can do that by expressing your opinions in the comments below. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I hope this video helped you a little bit. I hope it sparked some, some thought and at least getting you on mutthead.com and, and checking that out. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. And, and I ask that if you enjoyed the video, 